I like just want to check out. Can I look at my deck before embarking? Uh. Okay, yeah, I didn't think that it worked that way. I don't get it. Why did. Maybe this is a cursed game. I think maybe the unlocks don't work exactly the way they're supposed to, or I'm misinterpreting the way they're supposed to work. Or maybe it was because I did like a uh, instanced daily challenge. I don't know why I did that. That was definitely the wrong call. I guess if nobody leaves a comment on the Twitch in the next, like, five minutes, by the time I beat the... F yeah, by the time I beat the first boss in five minutes, that's how fast I go through this game, for sure. Uh, I'll just save and return to streaming later. And I guess I'm uploading this to my fun YouTube channel, so uh, let me know if you'd be interested in me just recording more of this and not streaming it, or announcing the times that I stream like a normal person, or uh, really any variety of from there. Um, basically, like, because I'm not very happy about that white beast statue, I'm gonna, like, see if I get something really good in the first few rooms, and if I don't, I'm just gonna rage, save, and go back. Can I even save and quit? Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. I assumed I could based on how long the runs can last if you're indecisive. But, yeah, see, this is a card I was talking about that I like that lets you hold on to a card and use it next turn. That's, like, extremely helpful because it lets you pick up other cards that are much more situational and not have them be dead cards. Or, I guess, rather, force dead cards to deliver on their promise of being something good. Um... I think I'm at the point where I'm okay taking some damage. I could have used this fire potion to kill one of them. And that might have been the right call considering I'm guaranteed potions all the time. But that was an unusually aggressive opening gambit by them. And... Things could certainly be worse. If in it... Oh, nice, my pal Pantori is here. Well, I guess I'll keep streaming if you want to watch. Um, this actually seems like a fun card. I'm go I don't know what I'm doing. I should probably, like, pick an archetype. It's just like this archetype. Like, potions aren't reliable. Uh, that's a good deal. Okay, that was totally worth it, because that works very well with the, um, silent liking to discard things. Yeah, this is a really good Magic the Gathering. Um... This could be really good with that card that makes you discard your hand and draw back up. This is always good. Um, yeah. Retaining feels really good, and then the upgrade to that lets you retain two cards, which, like, really puts it over the edge. I really want, like, a on attack, a snick oil. That's cute. That, that's potentially good, because Confused, yeah, randomizes the cost of cards. So if you have an expensive deck, that's a tempting card. But no, I know I like Outmaneuver, and that actually does work pretty well with that um, X, do 7x X damage boy. And it works pretty well with the Retaining, too. Uh, let's weaken the stronger one. Um... 
burn the defense of the one that's going to attack next turn, probably. The enemy's AI is, like, sort of predictable, which is interesting, because there's, like, a relic that lets you, uh... Wow, I even said the name was good. One of my commenters says, this isn't actually MTG, I just trusted your title, what a fool I am. But my title is Magic the Gathering, but the game I'm playing is Slay the Spire, which is the real game I'm playing, which is more honest than I normally am on Twitch. Um, so, buh. I guess I could kill that one. Yeah, that one. Killing that is the same as defending myself for seven. Okay, so good. I don't have to take damage this turn. Luis isn't a very strong enemy. Oh yeah, okay, so this, my strategy came to fruition exactly the way I wanted it to. So next turn, I'll be able to do big damage. Although I probably won't, because I don't need to use that to kill these little weak boys. But the principle of the thing, the superintendent traumas of the thing, um... Can I just win this turn? No, because I'm so weak. I'm just gonna use everything but that skewer that you skewer the next turn. I could use that with x equals zero. And that actually isn't a ter- oops. <laughs> well, that probably didn't matter, but I didn't mean to do that. I should use this because I know I'm gonna get a potion, but I don't know if it's gonna be better. Um, I'm gonna- do this just because it's not what I want to rely on in a curse situation. Yeah. Oh my god, do I really do so little damage? Oh, that that's a very good potion. That is one I want to use in a curse situation. Arguably the fire potion is even more reliable than the attack potion, but using cards is fun. That's a good one. That's a pretty good one. Um... This is, like, a skill potion that's in your deck. I'm not sure if the upgrade to this would be that it doesn't exhaust or that it costs zero. If it costs zero, it'd probably be worth it. I kind of wish you could see the upgrades when you're trying to pick. Caltrops, I, I think it would be fun to do, like, a defensive run and Caltrops tie into that archetype. Oh, speak of the Caltrops. Well, so this is bad to fight as this character because he gets angry whenever you use a skill, and thankfully I, like, don't have good enough cards to have a lot of skills, but it makes defending not that smart because it means he's going to do two more damage, so it, like, is only, like, three block plus it ripples forward, which isn't great. I'm actually just gonna go all out because I don't want to lose the run or take a ton of damage here. Um, that was probably a little too excessive, but I don't know, fuck this guy. I do like his weapon being, like, an entire skeleton. Or, well, not an entire skeleton, but the spinal cord and rib cage and skull of something mostly humanoid. Um, well, that's actually attack. That's probably not worth it, which is really annoying. Um... I could just defend three times and hope that I can do 20 damage next turn, or do this. This is stupid, I don't know what I'm doing. That probably wasn't the OP, the optimal play, but... Gamers never prosper. Yeah, pew pew. Oh. Oh, that's a good Yu-Gi-Oh joke. 
That's also a pretty good artifact. So that's the one I allegedly just unlocked, even though I know I had it in my deck earlier. Oh, I think I got it random. I think there was, like, an event that randomly replaced two of my cards, and that was it for some reason. Um, funny Overwatch. I think that upgrades to 20 damage, or just to not exhaust. Um, honestly, I'm just a fan of card filtering. What can I upgrade? Retaining up to two cards is fun, but, like, not splashy. Five caltrops is fun. Um... I think just making the free thing better, like, this being twice as good... ...is... makes it twice as good. Uh, Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for all this epic commentary. Uh, I should probably just burn that thing's block by a weak definition of probably. Um, can I just... No, 21 is not equal to 37, so I can't just kill it. I can certainly kill this little guy. And, uh, let's discard just our regular strike. Ugh, I wish I had upgraded defense. And boop. And boop boop. Okay, I'm in pretty good shape. Um, he's not going to attack me, which means that I could just outmaneuver and guarantee the kill. Yeah, that's the correct call as much as I want to do something goofy with the caltrops. And yeah, that's going to do 35, which is more than he has defense for. Hooray. That's a good potion, too. I did say I would do block, but like, this just eats my card. I like Catalyst a whole lot, it's really like, I should have a poison source before I take it. Flying Knee is always good, and the next turn get energy is actually really good with the retaining. Ooh, that's a stupid treasure. I don't think my HP is going to be full for very much of this game. It hasn't been up to this point. You kind of don't have much of an ability to make that be the case. Because there's like up to three places to heal and they're not full heals per map. But it's not bad for a common one. I don't know where the crew is, Puntori. Um, nobody likes to watch me play Magic the Gathering. All right, I forgot about their funny joke where they don't take debuffs. Not having the area of effect poison is like really annoying because AOE debuffs are good against this particular set of enemies. Um, yes, please. And then at that point, I could not take damage if I defend and then do the block potion, but... Huh. Yeah, they did really make Binding of Isaac into a card game, didn't they? Uh, God, I, I, I hate saying, yeah, I'll just take 11 damage, but... It doesn't seem like it's worth it to use the block potion, which is why I'm going to do it, because saying it doesn't seem like it's worth it to use the potion in this situation is usually a situation where using a potion is worth it. <sighs> saying I think I have anxiety about when to optimally use potions so I should make it so I can't use potions ever, like I did last game, was probably a bad call. Um... Hooray. I have 
multiple people watching this. I think I want that defend. Or wait, no, th that's redundant. So, uh, the bad thing about Survivor discarding a card is normally I like to just use everything. And, um, just discard nothing. But since I'm hoping to retain my cards. Oh, wait, just killing this guy might be smarter than being clever and trying to do a big, huge attack. But. I have to indulge myself on occasion, don't I? There is no bad thing about Survivor, you're right, the animated series. It's like Adventure Time, but with real actors. Um... Hmm. I freaked up gamers. At least I'll draw three cards. Would I lose this HP that I hoped so much for? I could take more damage and kill this guy. I. Th I don't want to have to heal, and if I do have to heal, I want I want it to be a good heal. So, I mean, not that the heal depends how good the heal is, is affected by how much health you have, but I would have more health if I got a f fixed amount of healing and then got more health, <laughs> as you can see. Why do I have... Oh, I, I was like, why do I have six million cards? It's because I drew three cards. The thing that I was, like, planning around, I just wasn't conscious of. I'm really out of it today, honestly. Ugh. I could just kill this guy, and that's what I'm gonna do. And, uh, let me retain probably just defends to make sure I don't have to take any more damage. My deck is like mostly dazed at this point. Ha ha. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> Glad I took those defense. I was like, of the chances of me not having any defensive items is absurdly low. That being said, getting rid of these stupid days to not shuffling them into my graveyard or, sorry, discard pile is probably worth, oh my gosh, excruciating. Um, well... I mean, all things considered, I didn't take that much damage in that encounter, and it was a truly epic one. Oh, that's super cool. Oh, that actually synergizes really well with this dumb white beast statue, too. Fun. Um, why am I just getting, like, no parts of any archetype? It's like, oh, this is for the archetype for people who like to do damage at the start. This is... I guess I said I wanted to do an armor archetype, and that's still sort of true. Uh, that's one of the ones I like a lot, but I'm kind of at the point where... I've decided that po Well, I mean, poison and shields, or blocks, sort of synergize. Uh... Let's do this, or any of these super- oh, that's actually really interesting. Energy's now conserved between turns. Uh, I didn't have enough to buy that regardless, unfortunately. Uh, that's not awful. I might get this and that. 
Okay, well, I'm really not specify uh, specializing as much as I'd care to be, but I'm a little bit happier with how my deck looks now. Should have used that last. Actually, I wouldn't have had enough mana to do it, so it's okay. The classic do nothing first turn. Sure. Hey, want to hear a joke, everybody? I I was going to be a soldier, but then I took a flying knee. What? Oh, can't attack this turn. That's cool. Uh, get bent. And let me retain, um, hmm, this is free, and will keep me safe. Actually, no, this is probably better. If I can get him down to 21 HP, starting with stern turn with Skewer, we'll just kill him. Fun to remember. Ooh. Ooh. That was the only attack if I draw a pile. Uh, bleh. Uh, bleh, bleh. Um, I could do. T Let's see if I draw anything. I don't know what I want. I want better cards, is what I want. I like that thing that upgraded all my crappy strikes and defends into ones that work more better. Um, that seems like the uh, optimal choice, and now I'll just skewer at the start of the turn. Yeah. Well. Okay, that's a very good card. It doesn't exactly help the archetype, it's just good in general. Um, I probably should rest, but like... Having this not exhaust... Wait, oh, I thought it made it not ex... Oh, I'm thinking of a different one. That seems intriguing. I th think that there was one I really wanted to upgrade. Honestly, there's a pretty good case to be made. I should just heal and not be funny. But now that I have, like, super big potion party day. That extra energy can make a lot of difference. Although, maybe having one extra card. Yeah, that, that gives me card advantage. I don't know. That might have been a dumb call. I might just heal. For the next one, at least. Um, that's definitely a go. Yeah. Not the most exciting, but at least it'll trigger Centennial Puzzle. I could also do that to not take damage. No, if I, if I, like, don't take any damage, I'm not going to heal, and then I'm going to die on the boss, and I don't want to die on the boss. So, I will intentionally play what may be suboptimally to make me not own myself. Yay, let's see if that was worth it. Are all great cards colorless, or have I just been getting, or are all colorless cards, um, free? Or have I just been getting lucky? Draw two cards, place a card from your hand on top of your draw pile. Let's put this on the old draw pile. Um, Uh, 
Okay, let's just hold on to those. I want to upgrade, um, upgrade my, uh, thorns. It's just like, there's so many cards that get a lot better when they're upgraded. It's weird. Why do I have to choose? Um, both of these suckers still had their... Oh, I, I think I'll actually be good here. Five and six. Ugh. Oh wait. Oh, that dexterity came in handy. Um. I think this one will die from the poison. Let's hold on to that. And that guy will die just due to poison, but f to keep up appearances, I'll just. Let's do it a stab. Power potion. I've been getting pretty lucky with those free potions. I guess that is a good artifact. Or a good relic. God, I'm like... Not really in love with any of these. Backstab is... Interesting. I like having free cards for the first turn, I guess. Even though it uses up a card slot and I already gave up my relic that makes... In it, things good. Blah, 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 blah. Not a huge fan of this opening gambit, but meh. This is a good spirit tomb. Well, all of my powers. And I will freaking die if I don't, um... I want a new power. Oh, wow, that one... Thanks so much, uh, Jigas. I guess just getting poison on this guy would be good. I should have done that last turn, in fact. Well, I can at least hold on to the skewer. Oh my gosh. Well, you know what? You don't get any awards for <sighs> surviving this guy. You get rewards for surviving him. I, I, I misspoke. You don't get any rewards for having a lot of HP when you beat a boss. You heal up to full no matter what. And maybe the extra energy from the dodecahedron will help me. The problem is it's such a non-bow with the centennial puzzle. Choke would be really good in this deck, honestly. I'm, I have a good amount of... Well, okay, those aren't re exactly reliable sources of multiple card thingos, but I'm, like, lacking a bunch of the pretty basic tools I usually have, like the things that are free if you discard a card. Not that those are necessarily the optimal things, but... Actually, if I discard a card, like through Dagger Throw, I keep forgetting I'm getting that three free block every time I discard, and that's, like, very helpful because now I'm not going to take damage from that. This is probably smart. This is probably smart. And, uh, those seem like the good choices there. Ugh. Not fun. How much will this do now? 30 or 49? Not enough to justify that, unfortunately. Weakening him is good because now he's only got to do 6. Can I discard cards with anything other than. Uh, let's get rid of that crap. That's overkill. I'd actually like to hold on to that because that's effectively 13 block because it's making me discard a card. So let's just do that and. Um, I'm probably not going to have a better opportunity to use this skewer. Or, I mean, I could, but I can just draw the skewer again. I might as well use it while I can do a lot of damage with it. I really would like some sort of on-attack power, though. 
to make better use of that. I don't know why that freaking every time you do damage it's not blocked, you get a poison, just has like never shown up. The LP curse, I suppose. So yeah, this guy has like a extremely set pattern based on the lights that are lit up, I believe. So if he's only going to do six, as long as I can discard cards through actions, um, I should be fine. I don't think I'm actually going to, but I'm more than happy to hold on to these. And I still haven't taken damage, have I? Or wait, no, I did take damage the first turn from that really big hit. I had the little saying about there's always a time for rearranging or whatever I said. Probably actually should have held on to that. Whoops. Although getting rid of that and not taking the damage from it is also good. Um. Honestly, this is actually going quite well, better than the last boss, despite the fact I felt like I had a slightly more focused deck. The Flash of Steel is actually really helpful, I'm glad I got that. Um, 7 times 2, and I don't have my thing that makes it weak. Yuck. It has not quite enough for Skewer to be devastating. Um discard that and I'm already good okay well I'll use that because it's doesn't matter if I use it or not later on you start get or well not later on there are uh, quite a few relics that give you um various buffs for uh using all your cards zap not using all your cards I like every x cards you use you get a thingy um, honestly, yeah, I was just saying that, um, this is actually an extremely good power. A thousand cuts is not bad, it's just the fact that it costs two, ugh, and yeah, getting the draw one, discard one is very helpful. Um, hmm, okay, okay. So, this heal 2 HP whenever you enter a rest site means you don't need to um, use the rest action, I think, to heal. You'll get whatever, uh, 10, I think, is what I'd get right now. So, if I want to keep that funny runic dodecahedron operating, that might work out pretty well for that. So, I think just taking the leftmost most path takes me through a variety of options. It doesn't take me through multiple elites, and normally I like to do a lot of elites, but I also die a lot, so... Probably don't need to push my luck. Mm. Unfortunately, I can't knock these birds out of the sky. Can give myself plenty of defense for no real reason, though. Um, I really need some way to get more cards, or draw more cards. I guess getting that power was good, but powers work better when you have them. Do I really want to do that? No. Okay, well, at least made my decision easy. I wish I had more. Hmm. They're going to do 20 plus 32 minus 13 is 19. I don't know if the plated armor... Oh, well, I'm going to lose that plated armor because they're multi-hit things, so I probably shouldn't use it. At least it's funny to watch them do that to themselves because of the thorns. 
Upgrading thorns might be one of my next priorities. Upgrading this because I think it makes it free is actually probably more important, but um... Oh. Huh. Is that a safe option? Not really. Do I even have... I can kill that guy, which will take down my, um... Wait, four damn... Oh, jeez, I forgot about how OP. I'd have to use both of those. Which is worth it, unfortunately. Let's discard that. Now I am in the range where Essence of Steel would make me not take damage, and that might be the smart play. Uh, yeah, if I use this, I can hold on to that for next turn, and I'm going to get a little bit extra um, energy. Apply two vulnerable. Um, no reason not to use that now, I guess. I guess I could just use these two and hold on to the two X's. And then use my... yeah. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I should figure out how to turn off the funny Steam notifications. Okay. Oh wait, if I... Oh, can I un... Wait, what am I... Do oh, that's pff, that's my looting thing that I was so proud of. Let's just get rid of a strike. I'm gonna start with this because it seems fun. Okay, so yeah, I guess they are all zero cost because that card would be very bad otherwise. I don't... It's weird, I didn't notice that. I guess that's why they're colorless. Not that mana is a real system in this, but if it was, that would help. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm fine. Blorp. Well, I lost more health than I would have hoped, but... Oh, this is... Good. That's actually kind of good. How often am I in a situation with no cards in my hand? Pretty frequently. The fact that it's free... always makes me want to take it, even if it's not the best idea. It's funny how most of the time I'm, like, so puritanical about, like, oh, I, uh, I'm a cultured magic the gatherer. I'm not interested in just doing straight-up damage, even though that's not what I'm, not what a magic intuition would even have me say. Uh, I'm a little out of it. I am happy this run is going as well as it is, I guess, but I'm also kind of ready to go to bed, or at least do something where I'm not trying to stay on- this is my A game. Staying on my A game. Uh, do I have card retention? Yes, I do. I think this combat should go pretty well. I have a nice loadout. Okay, so I can discard um What the heck? I don't have enough card. Uh, I can actually hold on to this until I can use it, which sort of helps. Yeah, so that'll mean that it's pretty likely I have enough energy to Stay to the next turn. Why is this? I don't like how much this thing is just buffing itself. So that's free. So it'll always, it will never mess up Masterful Stab. I, 
Wait, did I take... What did I... Take damage from... Wait, that... Why am I drawing so many cards? Am I just... Cursed... That's one... Oh, I had those two cards. I draw five normally, and I have that one extra... Jeez, I'm like... Spooking myself out. Uh, well, let's get rid of this, because it's not good. And I think I do have enough to do the good joke I wanted to do, which is going to win the combat, and I don't need to think about it as much as I'm inevitably going to. Bum, bum. Bum. Oh, wait, this doesn't necessarily... Oh, no! I did it wrong! Mamma mia! Krug. No, don't just waste this because you're sad. Um, that's what I get for not overthinking everything. Ha ha ha. Oh, I also... No, I couldn't have done that because it was an issue of not being able to get that thing out of my hand. Oh, well, I'm glad I drew through those. Oh my god, how many times did it do that? That's insane. Ugh. I'm glad that I got this during the time I don't have any debuffs. So, this will do 25 to him. But, like... I don't want to take 14 damage. What a good skill card. Yay. That's probably more useful to me as defense. Uh, I guess just not wasting the energy is probably fine. I don't know what I'm so scared of taking any damage for. I'm still in pretty good shape. I guess I just... I always want to take damage just once because I foolishly think my runic dodecahedron is ever going to be applicable. Um, yeah, Masterful Stab is actually countered super hard by the afflictions or whatever. Oops. Oh, I say that, and despite the fact it didn't matter, I got my wish. Wacko's Wacky Wish. So Sneaky Strike is good in general, because if you're playing right, it's a free card. Um... <laughs> I kind of wish I had that, but... That's also a fun one. Do I have, like, anything? Well, it's on sale. More Caltrops actually isn't a terrible idea. Cloak and Dagger is a good card. I'm not sure if I just want to use up the rest of my... I don't think I need to just make my deck more thick for the sake of making it more thick. In fact... Um... Ah... Ugh. Honestly... Ugh. Sometimes I'm not sure... Okay, I was like, I want to just do this instead of a combat. Might be good. Uh, let's just backstab this nice boy. Ooh, that worked out well. What the heck? This is probably going to mess me up real bad. Yeah, this card isn't very good when it's, uh, repriced, but actually this one is. Um. 
That's probably fine. I don't mind taking four damage because I'll get my funny Yu-Gi-Oh reference. Free Caltrops is fun. Still free Jack of all trades. I wonder if that's not affected or if it's just zero because it happened to not be affected. That's probably so good it's worth two. And then, yeah, that and this. I probably should have paid more attention to how much block I have. Eh, I'm going to get a lot from entering the Thingus next turn. No, I don't want the one that costs three. Thanks, though. Let's get that one re-rolled. Um, let's discard this overcosted defend, use our free footwork, use our still free adrenaline. That is no longer good enough to destroy itself, but does anyway. Uh, just the defend will be fine. And... Get rid of that very overcosted neutralize and retain these two. Yeah, I guess like that thing where you'd no longer see their intent ends up being pretty good when you um when you actually um uh um words I know words one for ten damage is okay. Um, one for a blade, eight damage is also okay, but not taking damage is good. Will I discard for any of these? I will not. Preserving my meager health is probably better than whatever. The X cost cards are actually pretty useful against Snekos. It's just that being useful against Snekos isn't really a, um, metric that makes sense. There, There is an item that, like, just permanently gives you confusion and, like, gives you an extra energy or something. I tried that. It was pretty fun. And, uh, also not very good. Like, it definitely lost me the game because it's almost always the correct strategy to do the thing that costs you the least, or to focus on cards that don't cost a lot of energy. Okay. Hopefully I get a good enough card to want to add to my deck. I didn't get the thing I said, the thing is that, like, with this sucker, I would like to go up to 30, but I'm not going to do that just for an extra 2 HP. If that ends up mattering, oh well. What? Um. I'll hold on to that, I guess. Don't really want that right now. Ugh. These guys do so much damage off the bat. It's rude. Oh, hmm. <laughs> Would that actually give me enough to kill anything is the problem? I definitely want to backstab. If I do that... And the shivs each do 5 damage. That would be 11 and 25. That wouldn't be enough. Um. 
Oh, I will get a lot of defense just from discarding, or a lot of block. Try. That feels like it's probably worth a little bit more. And then with this, that actually puts me in decent shape. I, I'll get to trigger my uh, Centennial Puzzle, which I now remember is a funny name because it's called the Millennia Puzzle. Um, blah. There we go. Don't really want skewer right now. This is free. I can't quite kill those guys, which bums me out. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I can use just about everything. And I'm only going to take 14 damage, which means that this will be enough. Well, that worked out quite well. Um, not letting that guy do whatever Buffy was going to is probably worth it, even though it feels like a slight waste of that. I am, I need to remember, I don't have any real trump cards. This energy potion is helpful when it's helpful, but not going to save me if I'm just, like, totally screwed up. This is probably better than prepared in this context. Ooh, more caltrops. Well, I should be able to survive. Um, and then I'll get a nice heal from that campfire. I gotta have a big turn. Thanks, thanks Puntori, thanks for watch, and it is a fun game to play, you're right. Also, I'm going to lose through no fault of my own, so you picked a good time to duck out. Uh, this game is a cheater game. Was, I don't like it when it feels like I didn't really do anything wrong and I just lost to RNG, and unfortunately this was a run where that was very much the case. It's good that I slayed the boss. I guess the secret is you probably don't want to trade your starting item for the boss items as much as I've been doing it. It seems obvious because those are really good items and like, oh, just starting with two more cards? That's not that great, but it makes the in it cards really good and uh, also the boss cards are usually high risk, high reward, or not as overwhelming as you would hope. And in that case, I think my other card would have just been better. And I think relying on funny potions wasn't working as well as I wanted it to. Oh, well, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you like this. Leave a comment, leave a like, leave a thumbs up. Whatever you think.